I am playing golf on the PGA Tour for a living, but at the same time, I am 23 years old and still a kid just trying to have fun. Day two. It is adopted home of Charleston, South Carolina. PJ Tour rookie Russell Henley is a quirky mix of Southern ease and youthful exuberance. <laughs> Me and Rob come here <laughs> every, every morning. Three little birds. Are you guys all set to order? Yeah, I think so. we're ready. Get an uh, almond with avocado and cheese okay. and uh, side of fruit. Everything here is so good. <laughs> it's a relaxing Tuesday for the leading candidate for the 2013 PGA Tour Rookie of the Year. Make sure you zoom in on that right there. <laughs> I always love talking trash to my friends. That's one of my favorite things to do. They talk trash to me just like I talk to them, and I was their friend way before I won a PGA Tour event. He's a nice person to everybody he meets, and, uh, and I... I really uh, admire that trait about him. They don't treat me different. I think if they did, I think we would have some issues. <laughs> How nice is being back in Charleston? Can't beat this place. <laughs> you really can't. It's the best ever. While driving the tree-lined streets here, it's easy for Henley's dreams for the future to come pouring out. One day, man, get a house in this little neighborhood right here. <laughs> What do you think, in like four or five years? Right there, have a little dock and take our boat out. But flash back a year, and those dreams weren't so obvious or grand. A year ago, I was trying to fight off bad thoughts on the course and try not to stress out about my future. I was playing some of the worst golf I'd played in years, and it was a struggle. In his first full season as a professional and playing on the Web.com Tour, Henley made just over $20,000 and made only six cuts in his first 13 tournaments. I definitely hit rock bottom and came back. I'm very thankful that I did that because I've learned so much about myself and golf in that uh, first half of the year. Henley's learning curve took a sharp turn upward as a late season surge saw him win twice in 2012 earning his card for the 2013 PGA Tour season. Sometimes it just swings. I just kind of rode the confidence. And once I finally did get it, all I could think about was how far I'd come. It was a dream come true. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Perfect day at the country club, man. Perfect day. Representing, man. That's my boy's truck with the G on the flag. <laughs> with the Country Club of Charleston serving as the ideal backdrop on day two, Henley and his buddies take full advantage of the perfect weather and the rare chance for all of them to be home at the same time. What's up, man? How's it going? The kind of friends I have, though, throwing head covers at my head. I'm just out here trying to get better. This is my job. I can't focus with you around here. I got my college roommate, Rob Bennett, down here. Mm. God, your swing looks good today. Justin Boer, Phil Mollica, and just some fun guys. They're just like me, they like to play golf. Just went out there and just enjoyed a nice day. It was perfect. See ya! God, you're good. Woo! <laughs> the relaxed atmosphere is certainly in Henley's wheelhouse. Yes, sir! <laughs> then again, it's easy to be relaxed when you have the world at your fingertips. That's it. Thank you. Henley did what only one other rookie has done in the last 12 seasons, win in the first event of his rookie season on tour. Finishing his final round with five consecutive birdies. That was by far the most nervous I've ever felt in my life, but it was the most fun at the same time. I was just so happy to be in contention. As the day with his friends draws to a close. You'd think if I would find some friends come in town and play golf with me, they'd take it easy on me. Not the case. And they badmouth me while I'm trying to get better. Come on. Uh-oh. 
An impromptu guitar jam session closes out a perfect Tuesday. Thanks, dude. Go ahead. Yep. <laughs> the guitar is a hobby Henley picked up in eighth grade and has developed into his second passion. It's kind of like golf. You can never play too much, practice too much, and it's just fun. It's pretty special, and try not to take any off time for granted, for sure. It's happened very fast, and I've just tried to keep a good perspective about it. It's fun, ain't it? I'm very lucky, and I just try to enjoy every day that comes. That's a lot of jamming right there.